If I may interject, I'd like to say something about Marsban Yazir. Tanis can speak. Thank you. Like Imani, Yazir loved his people. Love is a powerful emotion for action, but it must be tempered with reason. Yazir was by no means some sort of evil overlord. He actually was known as a vocal opponent of slavery. Marsban Yazir, the father of invention. He's the scariest wizard to come out of the Seven Cities since Sar Shazar. His experiments brought glory to House Materia, and you still use the constructs he inspired as the core of your armies to this day. Constructs were meant to be servants without slavery. Though they have military applications, that was not their primary function. Those shantry golems and titans unearthed in the mountains were the key to Yazir's political future. What would be the lives of a few orc renegades when a seat on the Circle of Nine was within his grasp? Yazir spared Imani in that war. That should be proof enough that he had a tempered soul. Ha! Yazir spared Imani? Kente will finish story, the true story. Inside Yazir's palace, wizards were planning next move to take back tribe's new home. The Orcs have taken control of the Crusaders' fortress and are already burrowing into the Shantari Temple. It is likely they don't realize the value of this site. We must act without delay before they desecrate the ruins and destroy the artifacts. Three battalions will be tasked with taking back the Mesa fortress and temple and driving the Orcs out. My first blade, Assad al Kazin, has first-hand knowledge of our enemies. Do not underestimate these orcs. Their war chief, a female named Imani, is a crafty one. Kanoni, what news? It is as Imani predicted. Wizard chieftain Yazir wants precious ruins back, sending his armies to drive tribe back into desert. Then the tribe strikes first. Kibwe and Reem will create diversion open way for Imani towards Yazir's palace. And then? Big Brother once taught me to kill a snake, cut off snake's head. If orcs kill Yazir, wizards will want vengeance and come for orcs in bigger numbers. Reem is right, but that's not what Imani has in mind. Yazir was not losing time. Wizard army was on the move. Imani, Kibwe, and Reem had to succeed before Yazir's forces could reach Ninakula. Wizards were patrolling the paths leading to Yazir's palace. Imani had to decide whether to avoid patrols or get rid of patrols.
bridge was the only way to reach Yazir's palace. Powerful army was guarding it. This was a fight Imani had no chance to win. But Imani had not come so far with no plan. Reem and Kibwe had been tasked with creating distractions to lure army away from bridge. Assad had become Yazir's first blade, Yazir's personal bodyguard. Again, Assad was standing in Imani's way. That time would be last, one way or the other. I am defeated, and at your mercy. I suppose I should congratulate you, but you haven't earned your freedom yet. Freedom is not earned. Freedom is taken. Assad calls himself Blade Mage now. Fancy title. But Assad still fighting wizard's battles like a slave. The tribe! 
fights its own battles. Even if you defeat Yazir, we will come after you again sooner or later. At best, you won a respite, nothing more. Orcs, gnolls, centaurs, harpies. Tribe is strong now. Tribe is many. Let them come. Tribe is not afraid. Assad enjoys chains. Here are some new ones. Put Assad with prisoners in stockade. path to Yazir's chambers was clear, but Yazir was powerful wizard. Battle could not be avoided. Retreating was never on Imani's mind. Battle against Yazir would define the tribe's future. Congratulations on your victory. I suppose you will execute me and parade my body in front of your people now. Wizards have mistreated orcs, enslaved orcs, slaughtered orcs. Imani should kill all wizards. But Imani is not a mindless brute. Imani came to negotiate. Negotiate? Well then, I am in no position not to listen. Wizards may have created orcs, but wizards have no idea what orcs are. I do say you and your people have surprised me on more than one occasion. So, what is it you want? I'm at your mercy, so more than willing to strike a bargain. Here's Imani's offer. Mesa becomes orc place. Wizards stop sending armies to take it back. In exchange... Tribe will protect ancestors' ruins, and allow wizards to come and study them. The Circle of Nine won't like it. And I suspect neither will Emperor Connor and his zealots, but I think we can come to an arrangement. Imani is not asking Wizard Circle or Emperor. Imani is asking Yazir. I'm not an unreasonable man. And I believe no one wishes to continue this bloodshed. If we strike an accord here, we may set a precedent to stop this senseless loss of life on both sides. And so, Imani became Great Chieftain of Desert Tribes. When all Warrior has to think about is how to crush enemy skulls, blood rage is good. But Imani understood that rage does not put food on table and fire in hearth. Imani thought of future first. Imani defeated Jengo with courage, but defeated Rakshasa Asad by making allies of the Beastmen. Imani made peace with wizard enemy Yazir. Imani won because Imani understood what each enemy wanted in their hearts. Imani treated each as equal to Imani. Those who fought for freedom were treated as tribe. Thank you, Kente. That was a good story. 
send a messenger to this Andrash. I'm willing to meet him to discuss his terms. Andrash's mercenaries are camping near Coxton. Kente will send word at once. Are you sure about this, my lord? Giving your duchy to a bastard's descendant? Careful, Angel. We didn't share the same mother, but my brother was dearly loved. My mind is made. I've never been one to refuse an alliance when both parties agree on the purpose and the cause. Kente always happy to tell Imani's story. Ivan wants to hear it again?